welcome back to another episode of Coffee Diaries, a series where we talk about all things blogging and photography. I feel like it's been a while, but that's because guys, I really want this to be interactive. So I really do rely on you guys asking me questions. That way I can tackle them in a way that best suits your needs as opposed to me just rambling on about stuff. So today's video, I will be talking about how to be different. And this question came about because um, last month on my Instagram, I did ask my followers um, that they should ask me any questions that they felt like they wanted to know the answers to because I was going to be doing a Q&A blog post and I did get quite a number of questions. So I'd say definitely check it out. In fact, I'll link it in the description box down below. Um, so I answered questions such as my thought process when I go out to shoot and how I find locations. So some of you guys might actually find it useful if you're into photography or you're looking for places to take pictures or switch up your content location basically. So you might find that very, very useful. And the one question that I thought would be good for um, the Coffee Diaries series was how do you stand out as a fashion blogger? I feel like the answer to this question could be applied to being a photographer, being a business owner. So I thought it would be a good idea for me to share my answer on here in one of the Coffee Diaries episodes. So the question is how do you stand out as a fashion blogger? One thing I would say is as best as possible, Try not to focus on the things that you have in common with other bloggers. That way you don't find yourself copying them or mimicking them because like I said, if you follow my series, you know that I talk about how the industry can sometimes be very saturated and people tend to almost like do the same thing. So you keep seeing the same sort of content all the time. So try not to focus on the things that you have in common with other bloggers out there. Instead, identify what makes you different and unique. Like I always say, all about your own unique story and experience. So identify whatever makes you unique, no matter how little you think it might be or insignificant, just identify what it is. And when you do, focus on it. Focus on it like you've never focused on anything else. And the more you focus on it, the more you stand out from the crowd because everyone is looking for what they have in common with everyone else. It's good to find common ground, but sometimes common ground means that we might get lost in each other's stories, if that makes any sense. So find out what makes you different, focus on it, work on it, and that will definitely see you stand out. So a good example that I'm going to talk about to kind of like describe um, what I mean by find out what makes you different is my very good friend, um, someone I came to know via YouTube and Instagram, um, Adana David. I'm sure some of you already know her because she's quite big on YouTube and on Instagram as well. Um, so she is a medical doctor, a blogger, and a business owner and an all-round powerful woman who goes about empowering women and I love her to bits. Um, so she does blogging and she's actually managed by my um, agent as well. Uh, so she's doing really well for herself. Um, but rather than her coming into the blogging scene or the influencer marketing scene and saying, you know, I have all these things in common with other bloggers, so I'm going to do what everyone else is doing. She decided to use her voice to change the conversation. She has a business called Medics Abroad whereby um, she brings in doctors from all over the world to go and work in different countries in Africa, allowing doctors to utilize their skills in hospitals out there that are probably disadvantaged or short staffed and they get to work and make a difference back home. So she has a platform that allows this to happen. And she talks about um, health. She talks about empowering women. She's big on women going to school, educating themselves and being the best that they can be. So she is a fashion blogger as well, but she does it at the same time while educating women on the powers that they have and their potential of how they can go out and succeed into the world. Um, Adana, uh, because of the way she's utilized what makes her different, which is being a doctor, also being in this space. She's gone on to give loads of um, talks. You find her giving keynote speech. You find her 
on a panel you find her traveling the world to talk about what it is that she does and people respect her because she's this highly educated woman who has um, managed to come about a business out of what it is that she does as a blogger so she's not just respected in the blogging field she's also respected um, in the medical field as well so she is a really good example of find out what it is that makes you different and unique and focus on it and that way you succeed because she can easily stand out among the crowds because if she goes and she meets a brand today and the brands are talking about so what makes you different from other bloggers out there you'd be like i love fashion and i love to share the way i feel express myself with my clothing but the most important thing for me Adana would say is to empower women and I do this as a medical doctor who has um, a business called Medics Abroad and a charity where I bring in doctors from all over the world to go and make a difference in other parts of the world that might be underprivileged and um, that is one way to stand out so I would say as always focus on your own unique story and your own unique experience because um that's what makes you different sometimes i feel like i sound like a broken record but really guys it is that simple stop looking for what you have in common with other people and focus on what makes you you that's it um so i hope you guys have found this segment also useful as usual follow me on instagram at mosoni you can tweet me with questions at Mosoni on Twitter or at My Coffee Diaries and I'll be sure to tackle all your questions in upcoming episodes. But don't forget to check out the blog post that I did, um, the Q&A, because you find it packed with a lot of answers that you guys might actually need to succeed in this space. Thanks for watching as always. I will see you guys next time. Bye.